Greetings everyone and welcome to my brand new series focused on one of my favourite aspects of role playing games, role playing. In this series I will go over how to role play races, classes and the many creatures and monsters you may find. This series will most likely not be confined to Dungeons and Dragons as I would really like to branch out into other systems and genres ranging from sci-fi to steampunk. I will listen to your feedback and even your suggestions on what to cover and work on in the next episode. Let's not dawdle any longer as today we will be covering one of the simplest races in any genre, the human. Now the human is probably the simplest yet most complex choice when it comes to playable races. This comes from the versatility and freedom you have with its personalities and the ways of making your characters unique. Now some might argue that every race has the same freedom because you can do whatever you want with your characters, but depending on the race you choose, you should follow a certain number of rules that are attached to that race. Now notice that I said should instead of must because despite when I say the races have rules, your creativity does not have to follow these rules. Humans have the advantage of not having any notable ancestral feuds with any other races, no forced alignment options, and to quote from the player's handbook itself, humans are the most adaptable and ambitious people among the common races. But what does this all mean from a roleplay standpoint? Whatever you wanted to, plain and simple. End of video. Bye bye. Obligatory fake out and tick. Now back to the video. What those things mean from a roleplay standpoint is that humans are incredibly versatile, allowing them to do whatever their hearts desire. They can be any alignments, any backgrounds, and it's actually really tricky to put into perspective how they fit into anything. Imagine the human race as the universal puzzle piece that fits into any puzzle. When you look at it that way, it partially explains it. At least I think it does. So when I say that humans are versatile, I mean it. I couldn't possibly describe every possible way to roleplay a human as there are simply too many options to choose from. The only thing I can do really is give you some advice on how to develop your own ideas on how to develop your own roleplay for humans, if that makes sense. So the first thing I'd recommend is to put aside the race part of your character, since humans are so flexible, and really hone in on what makes your character more unique to the player called Raymundo sitting opposite from you. Yeah, that's right Raymundo, we're talking about you. If you can really focus on creating the backstory and personality of your character, building up their strengths and weaknesses, family ties and moral codes, then when you put the human factor back into your character, it A, won't make much of a difference, and B, will give your character a human feel. No pun intended. So that's really everything I can cover. Voices are something that can't really be explained in a video because the voices are so diverse, along with any other race, that you can't really give examples of a human voice, you know. You can do different variations of your own voice, but unless you're really good at impressions, you can't really do anyone else's voice. So if you wanted to do a voice for your human character and weren't bothered about them kind of having a unique feel to their voice, such as one that's more kind of like rough and harsh, or one that's more high-pitched and rhythmatic or something, if you just wanted to have a normal human voice for your character, just use your own voice. In your DM's world, there's never going to be an NPC with your voice, unless he gets you to voice characters. Otherwise, your voice is unique to your character, therefore unique to you, so just do your voice for your character if you just want to have a normal human voice for your character. So otherwise than that, there's nothing else that can really be explained. Ethnicity, there are different ethnicities in the player's handbook, at least eight of them, I think. So if you wanted to go further into your human character in terms of like more biological stuff, then there are different ethnicities for you to play with. Otherwise, that's really it. So that's going to be the end of this how to roleplay video, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is obviously a new thing that I'm trying out. This might flop, it might not. I've put a few gags in here. If anyone's annoyed about them, I tried my best to edit some funny gags that I hope some funny. Uh, at least I've tried to edit them as best as I can with Windows Movie Maker because if anyone's used it or anyone has experience with it, which is you can't really have experience with Windows Movie Maker, there's a reason it's the so it's the most simplistic software to use, like compared to anything else. So I've tried my best to edit some stuff in there. I can't really edit anything more kind of like 
um, intriguing or kind of anything that's more complicated than that because it's Windows Movie Maker. That answers itself. So I tried to throw some stuff in there. If you don't like it, I'll tone it down for next video, but I enjoyed doing it. This is like the one video I've enjoyed making kind of in any other thing I've done recently because I've just had so much fun editing it. This has been scripted, if you can tell. This part obviously isn't because I mumble a lot more when I'm trying to go off the top of my head. So this part isn't scripted, but the rest of it is. I do that because it's easier for me to get my thoughts down on paper without having to think about doing them off the top of my head in front of the microphone on a time limit so I prefer to write down my thoughts and then I'll write along with it and because of that it allowed me to put some directions which I put some funny gags in later the majority of gags that were done in the video were actually made on a uh, word document were all typed out first so I hope they're funny so that would be it if you guys have any suggestions of what the next race I should cover it could be anything it could be a monster species like uh, yeah so monster creature a different race, role playing classes, I'll do anything you guys want next. If you guys don't want to put anything or if no one comments anything, I'll just put everything onto a random generator and I'll just pick from that. But apart from that, that'll be it. So thank you for watching. If you like this, leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content and I'll see all of you in the next video. Farewell my friends.